Mortal remains of Robin Hood laid to rest. Record turned out at the funeral procession of Sapam Robin Hood. Manipur government invites Turatanpur protesters to talks. Gaitangam appeals to all not to spread rumours. And truck drivers decide not to ply on Imphal Jiri Road until wheel guards are installed on the Barak Bridge. Hello and welcome. You're watching Impact Prime Time News. I'm Butchim Alambam with the top stories. The mortal remains of Sapam Robin Hood were led to rest at Awaching in the foothills of Nomai Ching in Imphal East in presence of thousands of mourners. Manipur today witnessed a record turn out at the funeral of Sapam Robin Hood as thousands of mourners came to pay their last respect and bid farewell to him. Despite the inclement weather, thousands of people thronged the Awa Ching to take part in the funeral. Executive members of JCILPS, JSC and family members first offered floral tributes to the body at Awa Ching. Martial artist of Maitai Inat Huen Lalong Sindam Sanglen paid their respect to Robin Hood and old Manipur Matam Ishai Kanglo performed as a tribute to him. JCLPS Medical Helpline team took the mourners who fainted to the hospital. <laughs> Sapam Robin Hood died on July 8 after he was hit by a tear gas shell during an ILPS agitation. After preserving the body for about 57 days at Chenim Smoke, the mortal remains of Sapam Robin Hood were today taken to his house at Larigambam Lakai earlier today. Family members, representatives of JSC, JCLPS and JCLPS Students Wing, Women's Wing and different organizations, students and a large number of people belonging to different works of life first gathered at Modern College and marched towards Chenim Smoke. The body was carried out from Jenim Smoke around 11.30 a.m. People who gathered, who were gathered outside shouted slogans as soon as the body was brought out. It was then placed in a Kairil Kaijau and carried in a truck. The mortal remains of Sapam Robin Hood were then taken to his house at Lairingwam Lekai in a procession that passed through Jenims Road, Kurai Lamlong, Kurai Putiwa Lekai and Kurai Salantong. People on roadside also shouted slogans such as Long Live Manipur, Long Live Robin Hood. Thousands of men, women, students and children accompanied the mortal remains of Sapam Robin Hood when they were taken from Lairgimum Lekai to Ananda Singh Higher Secondary Academy this afternoon around 2. 
A large number of mourners, including teachers and students of the school, offered their respect to him and offered flowers to the body. The body was brought to his birthplace at Kaisantong, Thangzam Lairak, and people offered floral tributes to his mortal remains. People along the road also paid their respect to Sapam Robin Hood, who had been honored with the title Lamzing Mera. The mortal remains of Sapam Robin Hood are on their way to Awaching, where the last rites will be performed. On day four of the turmoil in Hill District, especially in Turachanpu, the state government today reached out to media persons. Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kang, who also holds the home portfolio, appealed to every section of the society to point out areas in the three bills passed by State Assembly in case it was affecting the interest of the Hill people. Deputy Chief Minister categorically said the state government is ready for changes. Gai Kangam said the three bills were passed by the House in the interest of every community in the state. <laughs> Mother Sakana, some propada, Karigum Batting and Belly Tame, Mother Welcome to Bill Ahungi Manakasida, Sing me, sing the interest, I'm a single lambda, Soxala, Yahweh, Hyder Kudon between you. I couldn't come but what happened over Yai, Sarkag Saitegi, I don't get teasing but what happened over Yai. I saw a letter Matarabasu, I am Naina Bakanda, so I said, I saw a lay in a heavy tabada. Manipur, Gamming Saitegi, Mother. Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam said Chief Minister has invited the protesters for a talk. He said the state government is yet to receive official report on list of people killed during Turachanpur violence. Replying to a query, Gai Kangam said additional security forces were rushed to Turachanpur to control the situation and termed the violence as unfortunate. He said rumours might have flared up the violence. Asked whether less security forces led to arson of MLS residences, mobile tower and government office, Gai Kangam said the state has adequate security forces, but as protesters were in large number, they succeeded in destroying public and private properties. Gai Kangam said internet services will be blocked till the government feels it is required to do so. <laughs> What is the circumstances leading to the fire? How is it like that? I am of hand. I am the Sibai military might that could touch us today. I people's will power, people's understanding, full understanding that could touch us. JC formed after the violence in Turachanpur today took several resolutions at the meeting. JC Chief Coordinator H. Mangching Kup, Coordinator. Uh, Lan Ko Hao Chong Loi and other members attended the meeting. The meeting resolved that the State Assembly should either revoke or repeal the three bills. The meeting demanded ex gratia and government job for the family of the deceased. JSC will stage sit in at Lamka Public Ground in Turachanpur town from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. from tomorrow until their demands are met. The JSC submitted a memorandum to Chief Minister through ADG LM Kaute. 
The death toll in violence in Churachanpur district has reached eight. A protester who was admitted at Churachanpur district hospital succumbed to his injuries this morning. He was wounded in the abdomen in police firing on the 1st of this month. The deceased has been identified as K. Lamthem Kang, 47 years from Hyangtam Lamka. Meanwhile, the employment exchange office situated near the Churachanpur district headquarters was set on fire by unidentified miscreants this afternoon around 3.30. Members of Information Centre for Hill Areas Manipur Icham today visited the persons injured in Churachanpur incident on August 31st and September 1 who are undergoing treatment at different hospitals. They offered financial assistance to them. Gauzakam Ak Akailal John Kaplian and Thangmin Lunat are being treated at Christian Hospital Dulalen and Enkan Kup is admitted at Rims Hospital. HM President and Rajendra made an appeal to the people not to spread rumour and urged the government to take appropriate measures to resolve the issue. Representatives of Kuki NP and Thado Students Association accompanied the HM members during the visit. ไม่ต้องยอมดีกันก็มาอากาศก็ย้อนมาก็ดีอ่ะคุยสงสัยกูคิดสินะอุปสรรคเล็บไปเพียบสมัยตัวนั้นอีสัมสุเล็กกว่
ಉನರ ನತ್ರ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಹೋಗಿರ ಕೈಗು ಫಜನ ಥೋಸಿ ನಕ ಹಾಪ್ತ್ರಗಿ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಗಾಡಿ ಅಂಬೋ ಚಲೋ ಥೋಸೆಂಬ ಲೋರೆ ಹೈರ ಪೋಲಿ ಸೆಂಬಿದ್ರಗಿ ಥೋಸೆ ಲಾಲ್ಗ ಚಪ್ಪ ಗಮೋಯ್ Meanwhile, President of Manipur Truck Owners Welfare Association, H. Randit, said it is dangerous for trucks and oil tankers to ply on the Barak Bridge. Speaking to media persons, he said, wheel guards are necessary as the bridge swings when vehicles pass on it. He said, there is no need to tell BRO about the dangers while crossing the bridge. Ranjit said, instead, of, instead the government, state government should give strict instruction to complete the bridge and repair in a way it does not pose any threat to the drivers. ಥೋಸೆ ಕಮಾಯ ತೋದ ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸಿ ಕರಿ ನೋಯಿಸೆ ಕನಾಮತನ ಫಾವಂಗಮತಿ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓನ ಹೈದೋಕ್ತೆ ಮನಪುರಿ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಐಸು ನಂಗೆ ಥೋಸೆ ಸಿನಿ ಸಿನಿ ಹೈದೇಬ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಓವರ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಏನು ಹೈಬಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಗತನೆ ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓಗಸು ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಪುನ ವರಿ ಸಾರೋಯ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮತಿಕ್ ಚಾಬ ಎಕ್ಷನ್ ಲೋಕಗದವನಿ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓಗಿ ಮತಕ್ಕ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓ ದಿ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ತೋಬನ ಕಾಣರೋಯ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಓದ ಮತಿಕ್ ಚಾಬ ಎಕ್ಷನ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ಲು ಅಕ್ಕನ್ಮ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಪಿಯು ಮರಿ ಲೈನವ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಮದ ಓನರೇಬಲ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ನ ಮೇಂ ಚಂಗಿಯು ಕೈಗುಂಬ ಪಾಬ ಮಧೌ ತಾಯ ಹೈನ ಖಲ್ಲಗಸು ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಮತೋನ ಅದು ಅಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂಗಮ ಥಾಕ್ತ ಪಾಗಿನಿ ಅಕ್ಕೆ A sport inquiry was conducted into the death of three minor girls on September 2. The girls were drowned on the 21st of last month in Khoizuman Tabi in Kumbi Assembly constituency. A team comprising of officials from SDO, Moirang and volunteers of Friend a farmer conducted the inquiry. The family of the victims told the team that the tragedy occurred when two sisters, namely Haubam Thoibi, 11, and Haubam Ton Sana, 9, daughter of Haubam Newton of Khoizuman Tabi, tried to save their cousin Haubam Thazaman B12, daughter of Haubam Ibomcha, from drowning in a pond on September 21. He said the recent floods have deposited sand and mud in the area, causing serious inconveniences to the villagers. Citizens have expressed that inconveniences faced by the people due to frequent setbacks on the two lifelines, National Highway 2 and 37, is because of the negligence on the part of the state government. Today, the state is reeling under severe scarcity of essential commodities, including fuel, as Manipur remained cut off. Most fuel stations in Imphal City have remained closed for the last few days, and people are buying fuel from the black market. Mention may be made that vehicles transporting essential commodities are not plying on Imphal Dimapur Road due to the landslide at Fesema since August 19, while vehicles remained off the Imphal Jiri Road as Barak Bridge snapped on August 25. Citizens drew the attention of the government to take preemptive measures to avoid such inconveniences. Kanglai Park Communist Party Poire Maite has called for a 12-hour general strike from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. on September 5 against Manipur University's failure to clarify on a misappropriation of fund in the university. The outfit and pre- Press release asked not to venture in the university as the curfew imposed on the campus is still on and the outfit will not be responsible for any unwanted incident during the general strike. However, medical, media, water and electricity related persons will be exempted from the purview of the strike. Now it's time for a short break. We'll be back soon. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. First batch students of Institute of Quality Skill Training, Guwahati, appealed to the Department of Labor and Employment Government of Manipur to conduct special training for them. Speaking to media persons today at Manipur Press Club, convener of Institute of Quality Skill Training, Moirang Tem Visma Maite said, during time of interview, they were told by officials of Institute of Quality Skill Training that a hostel will be walking distance from the institute. He said after admission, they learned that the hostel was located far away from institute and it takes one and a half hour by bus to reach there. Vesma Maite said they were promised by officials of Institute of Quality Skill Training that free food will be given to them, but it was a false promise. All Manipur School Students Transporters Association in a press not informed that 10 litres of petrol per person will be distributed to people providing school van service on September 4 to 5 at Highway Petroleum Service Khabam Lamkhai. Members holding fuel rationing 
card from serial number 1 to 900 are asked to take petrol tomorrow and for serial number 901 onwards are asked to collect petrol day after tomorrow. A five-member Gorkha Janmukti Morcha delegation yesterday met Union Minister of State for Home Ministers Kiran Rejizu in New Delhi and expressed their opposition to the recently passed the bill, the Protection of Manipur People Bill 2015. The delegation informed the minister about the prevailing situation in Manipur. The delegation requested the minister for his intervention. The minister assured the GZM delegation that the centre will protect all minority communities, including Gorkhas in Manipur. Maitai Inat Kanbalop Thawal District condoled the death of its former president Mayang Bamnabachandra Luang on August 31. The Office of Integrated Community Development Organization, ICDO, located at Uchiwa, Lairak, Achauba, also condoled the death and observed a two minute silence. Two chemistry handbooks written by M. Ekane, Assistant Professor of United College Lambung Tandal, were released uh, today at Manipur Press Club. Speaking to Impact News, M. Ekane said due to tuition culture in the state, most of the students do not have time to revise their lessons. He further said his chemistry handbooks for class 10 will be easy for the students to digest in short period of time. Now in sports, Amfa Junior Girls Football League Tournament will begin from September 10. The tournament is organized by Old Manipur Football Association at Kuman Lampak Artificial Turf Ground. Junior Girls Football Team of clubs affiliated to District Sports Association and District Football Association can participate in the tournament. NCC provides opportunity to cadets for various adventure activities like parasailing, shooting, rock climbing, mountaineering, etc. They are provided as the part of training during combined annual training camp of number no. one Manipur Air Squadron Flying NCC, Imphal under NCC Group Headquarters. The parasailing was conducted on August 31 at Old Kwerengai Airport under the guidance of Colonel K. A. Singh, retired. Senior cadets of Air Squadron participated in parasailing and shown spectacular performance. The senior and junior cadets also participated in shooting at CRPF Rains, Mantripukri, and went for trekking on September 1 at Cherauching. Uniforms were distributed to players of North Imphal Sporting Association Nisa Thangweban, one of the contending teams in the 10th Manipur State League. Vice President, Secretary of Nisa, Thangweban, along with other members, attended the function held at the association's office. The team was, uh, has won the Manipur State League, one of the biggest football events in Manipur, for five times. The team manager is El Pasanta and coach is AFCA license holder KSS Birbal. The team is led by Captain and Jimmy. Maharaj Kumar Ghanendrajit Memorial Super Division Football League will begin on September 6. The tournament has been rescheduled due to inclement weather. Imphal East District Football Association is organizing the tournament at Social Workers Congress Kongman Ground. Ten teams are participating in the tournament. Tenth Manipur State League Football Tournament organized by Old Manipur Football Association has been postponed until further notice due to bad weather condition. The tournament was scheduled to begin from tomorrow at Mapal Kangzibung. The game of polo originated in Manipur and the people of Manipur are proud of the Manipuri ponies and their contribution in the development and popularization of the game. Manipur has several polo clubs which are working for the promotion of the game in the state, national and international levels. Mapal Kangzibung in Imphal, the oldest polo ground in the world, is a testimony to the popularity of the game in Manipur. The state hosts state, national and international polo tournaments every year. Efforts are being made by polo lovers, polo players and state government to save ponies and the game of polo. Despite all this effort, the survival of pony is being threatened. Ponies are always found wandering on busy roads as if there is no one to take care of them. Is it not time for all concerned to seriously consider the problem and take steps to move them to a safe place? That's all we have for the timing, but before we wind the session of the bulletin, let's have a look at the headlines once again. Mortal remains of Robin Hood led to rest record turned out at the funeral procession of Sapam Robin Hood.
Manipur government invites to return for protesters to talk. Gaitangam appeals to all not to spread rumours. And truck drivers decide not to ply on Imphal Jury Road until well guards are not are installed on the Barak Bridge.